heroes of the Bible. A man finds faith his only weapon against an evil city, which can be destroyed only by God's intervention. The story of Joshua and the walls of Jericho. Starring Robert Cope as Joshua, William Daniels as Chas Rubel, Royal Dano as Gad, Jerome Doucette as Reuben, Sidney Lassick as Agadiz, and Cameron Mitchell as Asarabi. Into the windswept wilderness of Moab, there once came another man whose task was to sorely test his faith in God. His name was Joshua. And the Lord God had commanded him to lead the tribes of Israel across the Jordan into the promised land of Canaan. But between Joshua and his final objective, there loomed a mighty obstacle, the city of Jericho, an impregnable walled city that controlled access to the promised land. It was guarded by cool Hittite mercenaries, paid for by a city which had become fat and rich on the trade routes. Stand aside. With its riches came a disease here. so foul it revolted even the Come Hittites. For the city had become debased. Filth was devouring Jericho, whose final degradation was the right of human sacrifice for the pagan god Baal. Less than 10 miles from the walls of Jericho, the Israelites made their camp and waited. The food they so desperately needed lay stored in the granaries of the city. But Jericho was a fortress, and with it the Hittites held the advantage. Each day the Israelite position grew weaker. For the starving, pitifully equipped people, there could be no turning back. And Joshua bore the burden of that dilemma. As a protection against attack, he ordered the children placed in a guarded camp to the rear of his forces. Now he contemplated his next move. See how pretty sister is in the dress Mama made. Leo would look pretty in anything, Galladay. <laughs> Galladay. We will send others to guard the nursery camp. I have need of your wits and your courage for more dangerous work. Command us, mighty Lord Joshua. Go and disguise yourselves as caravan traders, my sons. Enter the city of Jericho. Learn all you can of the people and of the defenses. Go with God and return as quickly as you can. Next. Why have you come to Jericho? To buy, to sell? Uh, to buy, Your Honor. Wheat. We understand that your granaries are run to the overflowing. You stored the best harvest of 10 years. Grain buyers, hmm? Both of you. Uh, 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 my cousin, so with him it's always business first. Now me, uh, I would know of Jericho's pleasures. What do you think of this little tidbit, hmm? <laughs> there. These travelers would like to sample your wares, hmm? <laughs> you may talk business if you like, cousin. I will make better use of my time. That was quick thinking back there. And we must be careful. I think that tax collector is a renegade Hebrew. King, 
Lord Asurabi, commander of the guard, begs audience. Ooh, that terrible, horrible man. He ruins every pleasure I ever have. Count, come back. Later, this evening, perhaps. You send these things to bar my way? Would you like to wear their heads around your neck like rotting cabbages? Even the chamber stool of a king, Agadiz. You are nothing but the biggest hog in this stinking swine filled pig pen. And remember, Hebrews do not love pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Asurabi. Help me. You promised me the Israelites would not cross Jordan. You did. I promised you that if they did, I would fill the desert with their bones. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of them. Millions like ants that I would grind beneath my feet. And the people of this city are sick with worry and fear of them. We have all heard the stories of how fierce they are and of the great wonders their God works. God, I deal in fact not in the gossip of cowards and caravan drivers. For all their numbers, the Hebrews are weak from sickness and from hunger. And Joshua's army, if that's what you want to call it, has little strength and less weapons. And that is a fact, my fat little king. Then go and drive them out, Asurabi. Take your soldiers and kill them. Kill them all and do this for me and I will cover you. No, I will not go chasing them in the desert like chasing some wild donkeys. No, better, I will bring Joshua and his ragged army here and destroy them at my pleasure. <laughs> For your pleasure? You would provoke the Israelites to attack us in Jericho? Have you gone mad? It would be madness to allow Joshua time to build his army back to strength. At the moment, there is neither siege machinery nor men to take these walls. Which is why I am provoking him into a stupid and hopeless attack. Take courage, little king. Once he has spent his arrow and spear upon my wall, I will build another wall around the city from their bones. But perhaps the Hebrews know this, and they will not be provoked. I have dispatched a company of guard to attack and destroy the Israelite nursery camp and to kidnap the children. <laughs> oh, yes, Joshua will be provoked. Perhaps you are right, Dr. Abbey. You usually are in these matters. But I would feel so much better if only I could find some children to sacrifice to Baal for his protection. You will have victims enough for your ugly god, your goat-faced Baal. You mean... Israelite children. Murder them at your heart's delight. <laughs>
What more time? Six months. The men are valiant, but they're weak from hunger, and we need weapons. Anyone? We must wait until the other tribes send up their troops. Reuben, Gad, and half of Manasseh cannot do all the fighting alone. The men of Benjamin and Zebulun have not yet arrived. Because they want to raid to the south to fill their commissaries. Is it a scornful thing, my lord Manasseh, that the men should want first to feed their wives and families? Peace, all of you. Peace. You bicker and squabble among yourselves when we need unity. I say, Lord Joshua, we must raise the tabernacle here that the people will know the Lord God Jehovah is with them in their midst. Our unity. No. Holy priest, we will not raise the tabernacle ever again in the wilderness. We are finished eating manna. We will eat the bread of Canaan. And we will sacrifice on the altar again when we have possessed this land. Mighty Lord Joshua, why do you answer the name of Jehovah? Enter! The Hittites ravaged the nursery camp this morning and took all the children. The last nurse died bringing the message. Oh, why, why? Aronius, send your priests through the camp to console and pray quickly. Where are your complaints now? My lord, generals. The pagan sword that has been thrust into Reuben draws your blood as well. Go to your men of war. Feed them on this bitter feast. Uh, uh, I'll take my men of Reuben to Jericho. And I'll make them pay dearly. That is what the Hittite wants. He would have us waste ourselves on his walls. With our grief. That's easy for you to say, mighty Joshua, who is without issue. But that was my grandchildren who were stolen. No, brave Reuben. We will waste no more children. Utility. My heart, Joshua. Probably more farmers the Hittites are drafting. These city men would be useless in a fight.
sins. I sacrificed one of the Israelite children myself. No. This is my baby sister's dress. Beloved light of the east, there are Hebrew spies in the city. Spies? Spies here in this city? My city? But how can thou let this happen? You must find them, Lord Asrabi. I'm so frightened of spies. I will find you spies for you. They will tell me of Joshua before I cut their hearts out. Hebrews. My sister Rahab said, you must come quickly. Come on. What do you want? I want to help you if you let me. Why? You know we're Hebrew. We are sworn to destroy your foul gods in this evil city along with them. Perhaps if I do this one good thing, your god will not be so angry with me. If you could stay hidden on the roof until dark, you might be able to slip away in the night. Trust me. Stand aside, woman. Get back. Have you seen two Hebrews? No, no. You, the Hebrews, where are they? I don't know. Onward. I saw two strangers with a boy that night. What boy? The brother of Rahab, the temple doxy. through the window. You must go now. Why didn't you give us up? We're nothing to you. Hurry. They'll be back. 
Tell me, is it true that there is a God, a kind God that loves good and hates evil? Yes, Rhea. Jehovah is the living God. Then I found him too late. For he will surely make you his instrument to destroy this evil city and all of us in it. He knows what you have done, even as we do. And you are saved, even now as we are. Gather your family together in this place. Lock the door. Tie that red sash here. And no Israelite will harm you or yours. Gather everything you need to remain safe here. For once we set upon this city, you cannot leave your home. You must go now. Jericho. It will take our strongest force over the mountains to the far valleys. And we'll find our needs there. Agreed. My tongue chokes me with the taste of my words. But we perish here. Mighty Lord Joshua, the entire day is nearly spent. We would speak with you in council. Peace. I know everything you would say to me. I will find the only counsel I would hear. Alone. Our Lord Joshua, don't go out into the desert alone. Who knows what assassins may be lurking. I fear the knives of Hittite assassins far less than the loss of faith I see in my generals' faces. destroy the abomination of Jericho. But how? With what? I have not enough men or weapons.
my lackings, my faults. For my unworthiness, Lord. I chose you, Joshua. Dare you doubt the Lord, your God? My God, I am not worthy. his renewed faith led his reluctant people toward Jericho. coming to murder us all. They are. Oh, please. Please save us. Promise me. I promise you this, sire. Joshua does not bring enough troops to take a crumbling anthill. <laughs> Come, Joshua. Come to Jericho. Come and see the nice welcome we have made for you. Circle the city. Sound your trumpets. circling the city and blowing their trumpets. Oh, 
have. The Israelite soldiers are going away. They're not going to attack. They'll be back with all their forces. I know it. Commander, they gave up without firing a single arrow. Now there's more to come. More! He's up to something. But let this garbage dump celebrate while I think about it. Day after day, Joshua was to lead his men around the walls of Jericho. Each time, Joshua ordered the horns blown. Anxious prayers were said for their deliverance. Joshua's generals began to doubt his wisdom, for the walls of Jericho still loomed invincible. marched around the city blown those stupid horns. It's most annoying to us. If they come back tomorrow, I want you to go out and kill them. Kill them one and all, or chase them away, or something. If I were to go out and chase Joshua, he would most certainly lead me into those hills where he's keeping his real army hidden. Thousands of them. Thousands! We will wake Joshua out. And when he finds his game is not working, then he will most certainly bring his entire army to these walls. We will have a fine day of killing Hebrews. <laughs> Great Lord Jehovah, command me to die, and I will obey. But I cannot make miracles. The commissaries are empty. Tonight's rations are the last. There is nothing for tomorrow. It is enough. Tomorrow we will eat from the larders of Jericho. For six days I have studied every foot of the wall. There is not even a place for a handhold. Even if we had siege ladders, they could rain down such devastation on our heads would destroy a hundred times our number. One of our only hopes would be if uh, we had battering rams to charge the gates. But we have no battering rams. We have one. Jehovah revealed to me that this city would fall to us on the seventh day by his divine will. Believe that. Or leave me. around the city every day. Who cares? <clears throat> of course, great majesty. But this morning, the priests will sacrifice the goat named Jehovah to Baal. Adoring subjects are even now crying to see their king. Yes. They are lost without me. Tell them we'll be there. 
marching around the city again. The procession is starting. The king will beat you for not being at the ceremony. Maybe even torture you. I don't care anymore. They can kill me, but I will never worship Baal again. Dear subjects, we are going to pray to Baal. Then, then we are going to sacrifice Jehovah to show those filthy beasts outside what we think of them and their foolish gods. into positions. And at the ready. Get someone up on the platform. At the catapults. <laughs> Look at that. They're maneuvering to attack the wall. <laughs> With that rabble. <laughs> to do it. He's really going to do it. Ready the archers. They fire only on my command. I don't want all the Hebrews killed in the first wave. <laughs> to me, Joshua, come to death.
Even now, they are readying to charge. Oh, but the Hittites are going to butcher them all. Hmm? It will be a marvelous thing to see. Hmm? Yes! Yes! Oh, but you're sure there's no danger. The only danger, Divine Light, is that the Hebrews will be destroyed too quickly. Yes! Yes! Wonderful! Citizens of Jericho! I have some great news! We are going up on the walls! He wants to attack. I know it. But he can't make up his mind. Let's help him. Break down that Hebrew well. Honor devil. Joshua! <laughs> Look! You mangy Hebrew dog! One of your maggots, do you see? Jessica. You see her? Come. Come to me, Joshua. And I'll drop her right in your arms. It's my Jessica. <laughs> that pagan's holding my granddaughter, Lord. You will hold your position. His archers would fill you with arrows. I cannot afford your suicide. Or maybe I should give this one to the priest of Baal, like the others. What's this, another Hebrew child? Let the butcher have her.
are your king, Chesrubo. Help me! As I love you, I hate you. That's an ugly pig. You brought this down on us with your murder of the Hebrew children. You must hide me. Hide you! My Hebrew brothers may forgive me if I lead them to you. Rotten Hakadis! <laughs> Thank you for delivering your servant, Roland, this day. Even as you have delivered his. This mighty Lord Joshua. Lift up your heads. You are not prisoners. I 
as you saved the sons of my nation. So then are you one with us. Gather and take this brave woman and her family, and be as one with them, that they may know Jehovah. <laughs> of Jericho had been destroyed by its own evil, and Joshua and his people had survived a test of faith in the Lord God Jehovah. <laughs> 